So we've all seen the scenario where an engineer is a little bit apprehensive about going from using his manual milling machine up to a CNC. I'm at XYZ Machine Tools. I'm here in front of the XYZ EMX machine and I'm just going to show for, for, the, for that example, engineers, how actually simple this machine is, this two axis control is to use, and there really is no reason to be nervous about making that, that step. So to start with, it's important to emphasize that this, like a manual machine, we can use the DRO function. So on this EMX control, I'm gonna press DRO, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the handles, which is showing me the X axis moving, and I could do the same on the Y and on the Z. So it's important to mention that, like a manual machine, you, with a DRO, you can perform that function. Now, if I go back to the main screen, I'm now gonna show you how easy it is to program from a two-axis CNC perspective. So I'm gonna click Program, and then I'm gonna go to Begin, and then I'm presented with a series of options, of operations that I can program. One is uh, drilling, milling, arcing, or pocket framing, and all of these functions I can simply create programs. But for this exercise, and to be quick and to show you how easy it is, I'm going to do drilling. So if I click drilling, it's now asked me whether I want to do one hole or a bolt hole, which essentially is a PCD. I'm going to do a PCD. So now it's going to ask me a series of questions, which I just have to follow in order to create the program. How many holes do I want is the first one. So I'm going to say six holes. And I'm going to press ABS set, and that's going to ask me now what the X center is and the Y center and that's going to be zero zero. And by default if I press ABS set it, it uh, input zero then it's going to ask me for a radius and I'm going to say for this instance 60 millimeters ABS set and then it's going to ask me for an angle so this is asking me whether the holes need to be off center to the center line and for this instance I'm going to say it's zero so they're going to be straight then it's going to ask me what the tool number is so I'll call it tool one and then a tool diameter, so a drill diameter, let's say 10 millimetres, ABS set. So I've created my event, which is my, my PCD, essentially. Now all I need to do is press mode, and then I'm going to run the event. So if I press run, it's now asking me to start. So I will press start, and it's now questioning, so ready to begin, I press go to start. So I can simply press go, and it's asking me now to load the tool or start the spindle. Well, load the tool, so imagine the, the drill's loaded. Now it's saying start the spindle. So I go to forward, start the spindle, and then I press go for CNC run. So that's now moves me to my first position for the PCD. I then simply come in and drill my hole. I then go to the next position I would drill my hole, I would then go to the third hole, drill my hole, the fourth and the fifth, and then the sixth. And once I'd finished, I would press go and it, now the run is over. The PCD, the drilling has been performed, the operation is complete. I'll now turn off my spindle. So you can see how simple it is. There is no reason you can do this with, with creating simple pockets. This is a two axis CNC control. It's very, very easy to learn. Just in a matter of, of minutes, I've picked that up and I've drilled an accurate PCD. The machine essentially is a manual machine with this control. So if you are in that situation where you do want to buy another manual machine, but you, you do want to have, well, why wouldn't you go for something that makes life more simple and can make components for you a lot quicker? This is the XYZ EMX machine. It's available just for a little bit more money than a normal manual milling machine.